Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in Slovenia and this is its capital, Ljubljana. In this video I will show you top 5 places to visit within a few days in this wonderful city. Let's check it out. Ljubljana Castle or Ljubljanski Grad is a castle complex standing on a hill above the downtown area of the city. The foundations of this castle dating back to the 11th century. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what can I tell you? To get on top of the hill where Ljubljanski Grad located, it takes about 20 minutes. But if you don't want to walk up there, well, you can take a funicular. Uh, it will save you a lot of time, though. But uh, it costs some money. I think it costs about like two euros. Uh, not so sure. I will provide the information in the video, that's for sure. But um, you can actually purchase both tickets uh, for the funicular and to the castle itself. So um, yeah, if you want to save money, if you want to save time, purchase both tickets, take the funicular and go to the castle. The castle is beautiful. After a funicular ride, which just takes a few minutes, you get into the main courtyard of the castle. Originally it was a medieval fortress and it was constructed sometime between 11th and 12th century. And it acquired its present outline with the almost complete overhaul in the 15th century, whereas the majority of the buildings date back to 16th and 17th century. And initially this whole place uh, used to be like a defense structure. And only since the early 19th century they started using it, you know, for various different purposes. And today it's like a major cultural venue basically and a tourist attraction. It is actually the most popular tourist destination in the city. Uh, the castle can be seen from every single corner of Ljubljana. It's a pretty cool place to visit. Anyways, it's a very pretty cool place to visit. And if you're going to be in Ljubljana, I highly recommend you to come here to check it out. Plus on top of everything, you can get all the way on top of this uh, clock tower. And the views of that city are gorgeous. So yeah, highly recommend to visit this place. Beautiful, beautiful views, beautiful place, beautiful castle and uh, beautiful city. Yeah, Ljubljana is really gorgeous. According to archaeologists, the area of the present castle has been settled continuously since the year of 1200 BC, when the very first settlements and later fortifications were built here. The hill summit probably became a Roman army stronghold around the foundation of the city of Imona back in the year of 50 BC. Yes guys, many years ago these lands were under Roman Empire, and Romans built here an ancient city, which used to be called Imona. And right now in Ljubljana there is a part of ancient Roman wall, which I'm actually gonna show it to you in this video.
St. Nicholas Cathedral or Ljubljana Cathedral is the main church in the city. It was opened back in 1706 and since then it never closed its doors to people. Today it is an active Catholic cathedral as well as very popular tourist destination due to the original Baroque decor which remains with the frescoes painted by Giulio Quaglio. He made these paintings between 1703 and 1706. And if you're visiting the cathedral as a tourist, you know, taking pictures, videos, and, and etc., you will have to pay two euros as an entrance fee. And if you go there, you know, simply to pray, then the entrance is completely free. And since I just showed you a Catholic cathedral, uh, I also want to show you an Orthodox church as well. Very nice and very beautiful Serbian Orthodox church of Saints Cyril and Methodius located in central area, across from the National Gallery actually. And the entrance to this church is, is free. You can come in, take pictures, videos, enjoy the atmosphere of this wonderful place. And uh, not for nothing, the church is beautiful as you can see. Alright ladies and gentlemen, what can I tell you about Ljubljana? Ljubljana actually is really really beautiful, uh, even though it's not it's not very big city and uh, it has population about uh, I would say around like 300,000 people so it's not that much. They got a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool places to visit and it's a lot of history here as well so if you're gonna be in town don't forget to visit local museums, they do have a lot of museums. And on top of everything, if you have enough time, I highly recommend you to go and visit either a ballet or opera or they have um, a few other theaters here in the city. So yeah, it's a lot of things to do, even though the city itself is not that big. And of course guys, while visiting Ljubljana I couldn't skip a few local museums. I went to the National Gallery, which was pretty nice experience, it is very beautiful and very modern museum with different works of local artists uh, and listen, if you're into art, if you're into paintings, if you're into sculpture, then you want to come here and you want to check it out, they have some very very good works here. And um, also there is a contemporary history museum, which shows you, I would say, uh, political and social side of Slovenia, uh, well, the history. Um, basically what it used to be and how it became a modern country, you know. Because if, if you know from the history, Slovenia used to be a part of Yugoslavia. And before that it was a part of Austrian Hungarian Empire. And before that it was almost for like a thousand years this lands belonged to the Roman Empire. So basically a modern Slovenia as we know it today became an independent country only back in 1991 with the collapse of Yugoslavia. Uh, well, uh, obviously it is a very short interpretation of Slovenian history, but uh, if you would visit this museum you'll see more details on how and when and why Slovenian people decided to be free and independent. And, uh, well, today Slovenia is a part of European Union.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Republic Square. Yes, this is the central area of Ljubljana. As you can see behind me, there's two office buildings located. Uh, this actually office buildings are semi-government buildings. And in front of them, right here, this building, this is a national Slovenian parliament. So yeah, this is... This is one of the main squares actually in Ljubljana, even though it's not like historical area because historical area, historical center is much much closer to Ljubljana castle. But yeah, this is another square here and as you can see Ljubljana has a lot of different squares which is pretty cool. As you can see guys, lots of squares, parks and pedestrian streets, great architecture and very nice and cozy atmosphere. Yeah, it's all about Ljubljana. This city has its own charm. While walking the streets and you know filming the squares, I noticed one thing. It is very very calm here. There is no traffic, no police activity, no emergency services, you know, rushing somewhere. It's just nice and peaceful atmosphere very unique and very interesting city to visit and uh, you know as i promise you here's a part of that ancient roman wall of the city of imona which used to be right here many many years ago it is very interesting mix of cultures here guys uh, you know different languages different religions uh, even though this the, this small place has so much history so much interesting spots it's it's incredible i was amazed that's why if you, you know, planning like a trip to Europe, check out Ljubljana and uh, there is another beautiful place not, not that far away from Ljubljana, like maybe 40-50 minutes away, it's called Lake Bled. Uh, I actually have a separate video from Lake Bled. Uh, these two destinations, which I personally visited in this country, were a true discoveries for me. I've never been here before and I didn't, you know, I didn't know what to expect basically, but now I can tell you for sure. A trip to Slovenia is a great idea. So enjoy your travels guys and keep on wandering the world.
well ladies and gentlemen i guess this is it for today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time i hope you really enjoyed this video please don't forget to like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you later guys have a nice one bye bye